donkeys have been here for a very long time. There's no particular records as to when they were first used in the village. But they, traditionally, they were used for bringing everything up from the harbour when it was a busy, thriving harbour. They would have carried the herring up in wicker baskets, lime up from the lime kilns. They would have brought up the stones from the beach, sand and the stones for actually building the village over the years. And they used to go around and collect the ash from people's fires with the two boxes on the donkeys. Um. Well, I used to do a lot of carrying for the new inn though. Yes. Uh, uh, the luggage, the bottles, the cardboard and the rubbish bags we used to carry up and the laundry. The laundry day was always a big day. But yeah, the donkeys sort of died out in the village and then one of the ladies wanted the donkeys to carry on so she bought some donkeys and then the estate took them over. So when I came I used to look after the estate's two donkeys. But the donkey keepers before me had the, their own donkeys as well. And they eventually retired and uh, I took over. It varies from season to season. In the winter we come in, feed them, take them over, do their feet, do the mucking out. Depending on the weather it's nice if we can take them out for a walk down the hobby drive or give them some other exercise and interest because they are prone to get getting bored this time of year. In the summer, of course, it's a matter of coming in, getting the donkey ready for their various duties. There's a number of them go down the street to be seen by the visitors and pose for photographs and things. And a lot more of them go up to the riding meadow and do donkey rides for the children. Probably now the bulk of our income comes from people's generosity when we're down the street taking photographs we have a collecting tin. And that just about covers the cost of keeping the donkeys. The um, donkey riding money, first of all, pays for the insurance for the donkey riding, which is rather mm -hmm. high. And after that, makes a rather small living for us. Undoubtedly, a lot of people have some very strange notions about it. They think the entire thing's a show village and all the houses are empty and people couldn't possibly live in a place like Glavelli because you can't park your car outside the door. <laughs> and... Um, it is a proper village, just about yes, still. It's, it's a proper living village, potentially a bit of a goldfish bowl, but I think the estate do make you well aware of that before you come here, so if you don't want people staring in your garden all day in the summer, then don't, don't come and live here. <laughs> um. yeah. There's a boy coming down the street with his parents this last summer, and he looked at his dad yeah. and he said, Dad, the people that actually live in this village, do they know what cars are? Yes, we do. <laughs> it's not as big, good a community as it was. Once the older people went. Unfortunately, the people who were born here tend not to stay anymore. Yes, there's some that have been here for generations. There's some that have been here for extended periods, such as Sue, been here 30, 40 years. And as I say, there's also a lot that come in and out on quite a high turnover. And there's one gentleman who, in my time, in the past ten years, has moved in and out at least six times, to my knowledge. <laughs> You're not getting any younger. That's right, there will come a point when... I'd like to pass it on to someone young and keen, who wants to do all the same sorts of things. Preferably someone from the village, who's grown up with the donkeys. Yes, I think there'll always be a place for donkeys in Clavelli. They're part of the heritage, so they've been here for hundreds if not thousands of years. Everybody always wants to see them. It's one yeah, of the things people come to Clavelli to see. Mm. It's one of the three things Clavelli's famous for. It's a steep cobbled street, it's a fishing harbour and it's donkeys. Mm. Mm.